morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I'd like to show you a pretty simple project. I think it's pretty simple that's also very practical and it makes a lovely gift if you're looking for a nice housewarming gift. And here's what we'll be working on for today. I'll show you how to make these coasters, and I'm using on one of them a piece of scrapbook paper for the background. This is actually a phone book page in the background. And the one in the center just has tissue paper, plain old tissue paper with some script on it in the background. I bought these tiles at one of the big box hardware stores and I'm using this stone type surface rather than the shiny porcelain ones these cost a little bit more but not much more and what I did was I took some scrapbook paper that it, it looks like it's script you can't really read anything but it's just pretty and romantic and I wanted to put this on as the background and I'm using matte Mod Podge for all three coasters that I'll be showing you and you just put the Mod Podge down I wanted to cut out this smaller piece to make it easier to work with so you want to cover this tile thoroughly. You don't want the decoupage glue on too thick, but at the same time, you do want to fill in those holes and make sure you get all the way out to the edges and you place your tissue paper down, focusing on those edges. Make sure those edges are securely down. And I put a piece of parchment paper over aluminum foil on a cookie sheet and place this in a cool oven. I then set the oven to 170 degrees and when it reached 170 I turned the oven off and I left the coasters in there for about 10 maybe 15 minutes. Now the instructions are almost exactly the same for all of these coasters except this one. When you're using scrapbook paper as the background you want to dip that scrapbook paper in water to make it much more pliable. Again, make sure you're focusing on those edges when you press this down. And now I'm just using a page from the phone book as my background paper. And I will show you how all of these look when we're done. And I'm going to repeat the process of putting these in the oven. You may want to wait until you're done with all of your coasters and then put them in the oven at one time for this first and possibly the second step. When you take these out of the oven, you want to let them cool off and then take a nail file and whether you've used the scrapbook paper, the tissue paper, or the page from the phone book. You want to go around all of these edges and file all of the excess away. You do not have to put these in the oven. I find that using the oven, first of all, it dries it much faster and I'm impatient so I like these things to move along a bit more quickly. <laughs> but the other thing is it can really solidify the Mod Podge on there. It can go in the oven, it's non-toxic. And once you've got those edges filed away, let's just repeat that one more time. We'll put one more layer of Mod Podge on it, put it back in the oven, or let it air dry. And when it's all dry and cooled off, we're going to make sure we've separated our napkin. And this is a page protector. And because we're working on a flat surface, this is going to help us here. We're going to apply decoupage glue or the Mod Podge, whoops, over the surface of the coaster. And then make sure you get these ends. I know I keep stressing that, but that's where people get into trouble. They'll write me and say that there's uh, problems with the edges or the edges are coming up. You've got to make sure you get those edges down, okay? <laughs> Sorry to be so repetitive. So you put that on there and you just want the top layer of the napkin and select the part of the napkin that you think is prettiest. Place it down over the coaster and then we're going to place this page protector and I'm going to press the napkin down thoroughly using this page protector. It won't stick to the plastic and you can get out a lot of wrinkles, any excess glue or air bubbles this way. And again, I'm going to put this back in the oven. You don't have to get too carried away with the oven. The main thing is you don't want to burn the paper. So even if your oven is still warm from putting this in the first time, you can just put it in for another 10 or 15 minutes. It will dry much faster that way. It'll leave a nice, flat, smooth surface and no harm done. If you don't put it in the oven, you can just put these aside to dry also. 
When they're all dry, we're going to take our nail file and go all around these edges once again. Just file away all of this excess paper so that you have a nice clean edge when you're done. And just wipe off the surface. And we're going to apply some more Mod Podge, one more coat before we put a top coat on it. And again, leave this to air dry or put it back in the oven. Just don't go over 170 degrees and don't leave it in for longer than 15 minutes. I have burnt the paper before and I had to start all over. And you can see I'm focusing on these edges again. Now that the Mod Podge is dry, I'm taking a matte varnish and I'm going to apply three coats, letting it air dry between each coat. Now that's the script background paper, tissue paper rather, that is the phone book page. And this coaster is the one where I use the scrapbook paper in the background. I do not recommend putting this in the oven, so these three coats are going to have to air dry. And just to show you how it looks, I'm using a very high gloss top coat called Triple Thick on this last coaster and again you want this to air dry you do need to use an acrylic brush as opposed to a sponge brush if you're using the triple thick and another thing you can put these furniture protectors on the backs these are a little too big for my taste so i'm going to go out and buy smaller ones but you would want to add these to the back of the coasters and here is how each of the coasters looks these two look very similar with the tissue paper and the phone book page in the background. And this is the one with the scrapbook paper, which I think I actually like the best. And this is the one where I put a high gloss finish on it. I prefer the matte finish for this, and now I'll add these protectors on the back. And if you would like to give these as a gift, you could use some burlap, some tulle, organza ribbon. I'm just using a vintage type of a ribbon here to wrap these up and put a pretty little bow on here and then I'm all done with my coasters and thank you once again guys for subscribing upcycle with decoupage is on Facebook I put new videos out every week if you go on over to Facebook and click like and follow you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out and there is a link in the description box going right to my website, which goes through Amazon for a lot of these supplies. As always, if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to note them below in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And even if you just want to say hi, I love hearing from you guys. You've been so kind. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.